people of Bricksburg, the city is proud to announce the brand new opening of this supermarket. You'll find various goods inside that we've stolen from Bricksville including children's drawing guides, adult magazines, choco bars, popcorn, and possibly the lingering sadness of Bricksville. Alright Farmer Bob, that's a lot of firepower you're piloting right there, man. I mean, I, no pressure or anything, but you're, you're driving around like 450 million brick bucks worth of stuff. Uh, if you crash, it's coming out of your, out of your retirement. But anyway, just keep pulling forward, alright? Your job is to take out Bricksburg. Let them know what time it is. They've been assaulting us for weeks, and now it's payback. Gray, I don't think I feel comfortable driving this thing. Nonsense, Farmer Bob. You, you had your 20-minute course, remedial course on it. That's that's plenty. Most brick men don't even live 20 minutes, so you should be so lucky. All right, now get over top of the, the top of the stuff and press the button. All right, Gray, I'm almost over top of them. Press the button, Bob. Bob, press the button. Press the button. No, you're running into buildings, Bob. There you go. Farmer Bob, you did good. You got him, buddy. Go ahead, go ahead and bring it on home. Bring it on home and land it. I'm landing it, great. No, don't land it there, Bob. Bob, don't land it there. Do not land it there. Okay, yep, just go ahead and land it right there. Good job. Yep, you're slicing through the people, Bob. Bob, you're cutting the people up like like salami. That's not what this thing is made for. Six hundred freaking million brick bucks coming out of your bank account. You know what, Farmer Bob? Yeah, just set it there. Just park it right there. It's fine. We'll turn that whole place into a giant airfield. Just for you. Okay? Then that's what you get, Bricksburg. Now you know better than to try that garbage with Bricksville. We've got way too much time on our hands. Well, looks like Bricksburg finally got the short end of the stick this time. Bricksburg's always messing with Bricksville. We're just trying to live in harmony over here, okay? People are content with their jobs. There's really only two types of employment here. Architecture and insurance. I guess in weapons creation. We need ways to protect the city. We've had so many instances where things have come from the sky that I decided we would check some things out to stop them. This seems to be pretty appropriate. With a name like, you know, this name is now synonymous with OP. <laughs> if it if it if it flies, rolls, walks, or otherwise exists of bricks in Bricksville, Bricksburg, or pretty much any place else that utilizes the same polyurethane chunklets that we have at our disposal, this thing could probably take it out. Now, how well could it do against a typical plane? Planes are flammable. Let's check it out. Man, this plane drives good. Oh, it is perfect for blasting out of the sky. It's a typical day in Bricksville. You're piloting one of your ridiculously overpowered artillery machines when suddenly you notice an unidentified flying aircraft in the distance. Do you A. Hail them and try and talk? B. Allow them to fly on through the airspace of Bricksville? Or C. Throw as much firepower at it until you see it crash into the ground in a giant flaming heap? The answer is C in Bricksville. It all, it's always C. Fire the cannon. So I think we're pretty much aiming at- now this is a volley style gun. So if we fire right here, it should do its thing. Let's see how well 
The artillery worked. The artillery looks really, really on point. Never mind. The artillery missed. I don't think I've ever hit a plane from the side, but whatever. Oh, the volley wasn't ready yet. I just noticed that the volley wasn't ready yet. Oh my god, the plane's gonna crash into something. No, 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 no. Okay, it hasn't crashed into anything yet. Never mind, it's ricocheting off of a building. This was not supposed to happen. It was supposed to get cut by the volley machine. Uh, okay. Looks like it's having a good time with that building over there. Just kind of embracing one another, hugging, if you will. But this right here, see, the building just just paused it. It it made it an easier target for several spinal shots into the lower plane-like abdominal area. It didn't really do that much damage. I'm pretty impressed at how much of the plane is still in one piece. I would have, okay, now we've got another volley coming in here. If it misses and it hits the building, the building, yeah. Come on, baby, you can do it. Open fire. Nope, not quite. It's interesting that this plane is just wandering through the city. It's not breaking, it's not exploding, it's just like slowly trapezing through the middle of Bricksville. It hasn't even really caused that much damage. Oh, there goes the artillery. Uh, plane versus artillery, take two. You have to aim a little bit higher, I think. I think that's the plan. So right about here. Gotta get those engines. If we get those engines to blow up, we shouldn't have anything to worry about in the city. Right in the tail. Oh, we saw, we, we cut it in half. That's pretty good. When an airplane gets cut in half, that means it's usually not long for this world. Perfect, just parked itself right on the top of that building. Look at that, no damage to Bricksville. We got, what, are you still firing? Oh, yep, sure is. There it is. It's just the, it's, it's like a war drum. You hear it? It just sounds like a drum. Okay, we're gonna test this nuke out. I spawned it and I got sent to Mars twice. So, it's a little bit volatile, but I think I can make this work. All right, if you're gonna use a giant nuke, you have to use it on something with a ton of bricks. Now, don't worry, there's no reason why I put this between these two fuel tanks. Now, if you walk inside, you're gonna notice. <laughs> I didn't know this guy was quite so spastic. Is it? What is it? With complaints about the condition of buildings, please contact here. Oh, this must be customer service. Interesting. I, I expect him to have like a shotgun or something underneath the table. He's got a stacked burger, man. Oh, future plans. They're finally going to finish the Bricksville University. All those poor kids will finally get an education. All right, now supposedly, there's somewhat of a chance that when this nuke goes off, it's gonna crash my game. Now you may be saying to yourself, Gray, why are you riding the nuke? That's because it's the only way to really make sure that it goes where I put it. You can see I'm not really too happy about it. My eyes are open. I think we're gonna miss, but I'm still gonna give it a shot. Here we go. Nuke's coming down. That looks like a good hit. Okay. Nuke did all right. Nuke just, it like hit it from the side and still got a little bit of damage in. Not too shabby. We're coming in from the other side here. It's just a big ball of flame. I can't even see what happened. It throws the building all over the place, but the building is tough. Oh, this one's perfect. Right there. Oh. What? <laughs> what happened? Okay, so before we got ejected into the, what does that say? Modify building design? That's like the only thing that's left. What happened? Like the, the other two times where we hit the side of the building, it took a little bit of damage, but the building was okay. But man, when you hit the building directly, it gets incinerated. All right, I gotta see if this is a fluke or something because that was ridiculous. Okay, see right about there, it landed on the side of the building. Oh, I can feel my computer straining. That's so weird. The bomb disintegrated that time. Like it blew up and now there's just nothing left. There's not even like particles or anything. Come on, baby, make me proud. Maybe if we slow it down right as it hits, that worked. Oh yeah, it punted the building in the air like a football. And the field goal is good. There's your points. I think it's gonna do more damage from the landing than it did from the bomb. What a weird bomb. Like the nuke sometimes just just destroys everything it gets its hands on. And so, what is this? I didn't, are they? Oh, they're playing pool. I thought this guy was pulling a gun on the other guy. All right, we've done ground to air. Let's do ground to ground. This is what I need. It's, it's a fully automated explosion system. See, all you gotta do is uh, put the gigantic tube of pain upward, 
like so. Once it reaches its height, you just have to press the button, which means that Jambo and Farmer Bob would be in their, uh, in their element. Now it's gonna do everything by itself. See, there goes the thing. You're gonna see it arcing. Oh, it's perfect. Right toward the city, without me even trying. Now, supposedly there's a separation. There's the separation. All this is just doing its own. Oh, no. <laughs> Where'd the nuke go? It is, is it, is it disintegrating? Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! oh, that is a carpet of insanity! Oh, there's like one more rocket piece over there. We were pretty close. Like, I was guessing where to put this thing. Let's back it up a little bit. We need to try that again. All right, what do you boys think? It right about here? All right, so you press. Look at this. It does everything by itself. The, the stabilizers come down, the barrel comes up. It aims, I mean, sort of. It aims on up, and then all you have to do is one button. Press the button. Go ahead, Farmer Bob. You can do it. Anyone can. All right, there it goes. Let's let's follow this thing like it's in the wild, like a beautiful bird. Feel the fury of Bricksville's finest minds. We were short. <laughs> oh, oh, it looks like they're both banking this time. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, just do, do what we need. Do what we need, you beautiful rockets. You've gotta save lives. The orphanage needs you. The children of Bricksville needs you. That's looking good. Oh, it's looking pretty good. All right, there's the cluster. Yes. Yes. I think the Titans are about to take a bath in sadness. Maybe? Woo! Oh yeah, look at that pelting hailstorm of insanity! It missed. It's missing every single time. Never mind, it is no longer missing. No, it's still missing a lot. We are hitting every single building. Every building is getting carpet bombed. Why is nothing hitting the Titans? It's almost like it's trying to miss the Titans. On purpose. Okay, there's there's the other one. Yep. Got the front of the got the front of the city and the back of the city. Totally missed the Titans, it's good. All right, let's try this again. Once more, the rockets appear to be arcing correctly. All right, I moved everything over. So these should mostly hit where the Titans are. Looking good so far, you can see. They're kind of aimed up. Of course, with my luck, they'll probably spread to the left and the right and get rid of the rest of the buildings that are still standing. Okay, there's the separation. Now the rocket should bust into a giant cluster of pain. Okay, that cluster, I don't think either of these clusters is is it going to be anywhere near the the titan in fact if anything i think it just may take out more of the more of the city this one over here was going after the train it looks like okay that didn't hit anything uh what do we got going on over here come on oh no what does it take to hit these things you know these these ones are these ones are looking pretty good. It's not looking too bad. Hallelujah! Finally, we're gonna put them down. These Titans are gonna know what time it is. This has gotta be a direct hit, right? It's gotta be a direct hit. Okay, this is it. Look, look at, look at the barrage. There's no way that we miss this Titan. All right, every single building is gonna fall, but it doesn't matter. It's all worth it. If we can claim this city back in our name and let them know that the only people that blow Bricksville up is us. Okay, looking good, looking good. The Titan seems to be pretty sad. It's lost like a rib. Maybe like a, maybe like its pinky finger is sprained. I think it's got some indigestion, perhaps. Okay. So. Yeah, that was the damage we did in uh, all those volleys. And uh, here's how the city looks. So, I don't know. I feel like it was totally worth it. Okay. So the Helios is supposed to be basically indestructible, but this thing does fire straight up. So as long as it, the rocket doesn't can't, we should be able to hit this thing before it busts into a billion pieces. I don't know if the rocket will do any good until it separates. It should still be pretty volatile, but I guess we'll find out. All right, fire the rocket. Okay. Going up, looking good. Should go right in the middle of the, uh, of the thing. Oh, you know what? It may separate right inside of it. Oh, it's inside. Oh, it's being hugged by it. 
I never would have expected such a thing to happen. Is it gonna release the bombs inside? Is it gonna release the bombs inside? Release the bombs. Oh, my frame rate. Oh, okay. Yep, I think it's working. I think it's working. It's, it's releasing the carpet bombs of sadness directly in the middle of the Helios. Now, the Helios was said to be basically indestructible, but let's find out if that's true. Inside all, just everything exploded. It's going completely insane. I bet the Helios never expected to have the middle portion of it targeted like that. That was pretty cool. And look at that. We almost got like the uh, the horseshoe on the on the peg right there. You know, a little ring around the rosy, so to speak. Now we did it. We took it down in a way I never really thought that we would shoot it down. You know what? I'm going to call it a victory. Ricksville doesn't get many of them, so we got to take them when we can. Anyway, folks, that's going to be it for this episode of Brick Rigs. Till the next time, stay foxy and much love.